Hello, friends of golf course quality fertilizer. Well, you know, this is like super early. Here we are, the last day of May, and it feels like it's like the beginning of July or something. I mean, this is a little bit on the ridiculous side, but it's really hard for somebody who does not like winter to complain about any kind of warm weather. But it could use some rain, that would be great. But I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about dormant grass, and it's not dead grass. So a lot of people see brown and automatically be like, oh, it's dead grass. Uh, well, it's dormant, especially right now when we're going through th spells of drought and things like that, and maybe it's like an irrigation spot in your yard kind of messed up and you went through some drought zone. So there's a trick on getting it back, and you gotta be careful. A lot of people, what they'll do in order to get what they think is dead grass to come back or dormant grass to come back is they start watering it every single day, right? And that's like the worst thing you can do is just start watering it every single day. Now you will have to pay attention to watering. You might water it for like two, maybe three days in a row, but then you'll go back to your normal cycle of deep and infrequent because if you water it every single day to try to bring it back to green, all it's gonna do is fire up with diseases. Because what's weird about grass is when it goes through this dormant stage, it actually kind of shrinks itself back down to a juvenile plant. So it's not even a mature plant. So it's almost like it's coming from a seed again from the ground when it comes from that crown, which is the heart of the plant, comes a new leaf finally to come back alive from that dormancy. It's almost like a brand new seed. So it's very susceptible to diseases and then drying out again. And so you gotta be real careful trying to bring these spots back. Also, don't walk through these areas that are real droughted out, that are crunchy. Uh, especially if you're not intending it to go fully dormant, it'll leave footprints. Or if you mow through it, it'll leave tracks and it'll make it worse. So get some water on it. Hold in there. I know there's a lot of people who are doing a really good job keeping up with this weather. Uh, hopefully we get some of these rains at night. Thanks for listening. Don't overwater your dormant grass to try to bring it back. Thanks for listening. Bye.